Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like and please subscribe down below. I appreciate all the support from everybody. And we have a really nice pair of sneakers today. Something I'm happy to have gotten for for retail. This has happened now twice with me. I've been lucky with the Jordan 4s and now with this pair here by the title. I will show you guys what we are looking at today. Union across the top, Jordan brand logo printing on that tag and if we flip it around it is an air jordan 2 retro sp men's size 12 for some reason the 13 i tried checking out did not work for me so unfortunately i got a 12 but i still got a pair to review and in hand and they are tight so i don't know if i'm going to keep them i might try to trade for a 13 and the retail on these i believe was 225 us even though it's not printed on there i will make sure that's right in text when we get to that inside you have plain paper but you do have the Union and Flight logos right there on the lid. And this particular pair released on April 15th, 2022 for 225 US. And this is what we are looking at today. So I will bring up this one real quick so, so you guys can see. We have two pairs of extra laces, one in like a golden yellow and the other in a matching gray color to what this main colorway is, which is by the title you saw, Gray Fog. There was another pair that released alongside this. You will see a photo there. I believe that one was called Rattan. Rattan? Rattan? <laughs> a weird colorway. But that one looks pretty good too. Those are actually going for a little bit more than these. I think they were a little bit more limited as well. But this pair overall, I think, looked better in my opinion. I just like the Gray Fog and the blue. The Rattan pair if I'm saying that right, was still a really nice color and still a really solid buy. It was actually a pretty unique mix too. Once again, if you want to buy one of these, I'd recommend doing it soon if you can afford the resale prices because they will just continue to go up over time. And they do have a different mix of materials going across this Jordan too. You have a kind of canvas rough backpack material going across the upper here where you have a little bit of a stitching detail, which is like kind of like a circular stitch. You have the Nike Jordan Wings logo on this kind of tag that's stitched over the lining in the shoe going to the interior. And that is stitched on over that, which is a weird little touch. This material right here that you see the perforation, there is a blue piece of leather underneath. And this is gray suede up top. The suede is a nice feel and a nice touch. I think this is a, kind of a strange design, the way they did the stitching and the circles. But because of this, I think it looks more futuristic and kind of tech-like. I like what they did. I, not everybody's going to like these. And I'm not the biggest fan of the Jordan 2. But I like what they did here to the model to make it more eye-catching. There's a little perforation going across that mid-paneling. Once again, this is like a backpack canvas material. Same as up here. feels a little bit softer, but it's still pretty rough and takes a good amount of force to make it flex. Suede going across the toe box here, so be careful where you live. All this material back here on the heel area going up to where my finger is here. So right below my thumb going down, if you follow where my thumb is going, this is all suede material on the lower part of the shoe. So if you live somewhere where it's really wet, or if you wear these in the fall and it starts to snow, water will damage that material. Be very careful. There is an up-close look at the blue, which is nice kind of like ocean water blue. It's a little bit lighter. I like the way it looks on the gray. Once again, I think it's a solid, solid color combination. Suede going around the eyelets right here. Perforation on that canvas toe box. Gray suede. There is a look at your medial sign with the same detailing with the suede and the blue lining underneath. And if we flip it around to the laces, you can see they're kind of like a sail color white lace. You do have a nice rubber pla or a plastic eyelet overlay right here in that blue on both sides. UNLA tag in that golden yellow right there. You have a yellow flight Jordan tag up top. It is a pretty stiff tag. It's not your normal leather tag or something like that. It almost feels like a really hard like lithograph paper. Very strange. Your canvas materials underneath on the tongue is the same you would see right there on the side. Exposed foam on the tongue. And you have a really nice leather underlay. The leather material underneath here is really great on the tongue. And the leather lining itself actually feels really great too. And it's not a half cut lining. The lining is a full leather. So if we take a look here... You can see the leather lining goes all the way down. So I like when they do that and they don't half-ass it and they bring it out like halfway or they just do the top like inch. They actually line the entire leather down to the insole, which is nice. There is a yellow insole with the red Jordan logo and red Union underneath. 
So overall, the Jordan 2s, I would still recommend going true to size. I haven't really heard anybody say they run big. And that's why I'm saying stay true to size. I wish I would have got a 13. I ended up with a 12, so I'm not too upset. I still ended up with a pair in hand, so I can't complain. But I really wish I would have gotten a 13. But other than that, let me know which pair you like better. Do you like the gray fog or the rattan color better? I'll throw a photo up again real quick. And then other than that, I thank you guys for stopping by today. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I will try to answer back to everybody and get some conversation going in the comments. I thank you all for the support. I hope you stick around. I have more content coming shortly. And I hope everybody has a great day. All right. Bye.